brought one over. We're just getting started. Get it while it's hot. Stuff that smells this good won't last long. I will take that as a compliment. Mom thought it'd be a good idea to have a little dinner for everyone to boost the morale. I'd say it's working. We all need a little downtime. Except for her, she's got no quit. Don't expect that to change. Can't remember the last time I hosted this many people. Might have been when I told the whole town I was pregnant with you. Mom. They were all so happy for your dad and I. It's not perfect, and there's still work to do, but it sure is nice to have something to be happy about again. I'll drink to that. We wouldn't have any of this if it weren't for you. Now, come on, go grab a drink. It's long overdue. down. I don't want to scare the kids. Carmina! <gasps> Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like it when people lie to little kids. Why are you doing this? Because of your hero here. Until you showed up, everything was running smoothly, but you... You've become a fucking problem. Taking from us, throwing everything out of balance. I think we should just kill them. No. Hold on. We don't want any martyrs here. What we want is to make sure everyone understands that your help is a curse. Every person you help, every child you inspire, <laughs> every settlement you build, we will take from you. And when you've got nothing, we'll come for you. <laughs> don't drop it. <laughs> The only currency in this world is power. You, you made us look weak. That ends now! We're gonna take everything that you hold dear, starting with your home. And if we can't take it, we'll break it. Don't be here when we come back. Come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. It's okay. Now it's okay. It's okay. Let's go inside. Let's go. Hello. I hope you enjoyed that cutscene. It's your dude, TVB. If anyone still cares about this series, it's a. Uh, this is episode 7 of My Far Cry Near Dawn Let's Play, I believe. And yeah, I, I've been playing this series off for unnecessarily long and that's like i don't know i'm not even 10 episodes in this game's been out for a month and a half and i just saw an advertisement for it today like this game is like for 20 dollars for a limited time only right now so theoretically i could have just waited a month and a half and you know you got this game for a much lower price because you know broke a college student ain't that right byron yep hey <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's register it. I'm really enjoying Far Cry Near Dawn. It's not as good as the previous Far Cry's, because, you know, it is basically just a glorified DLC in Far Cry 5. I'm no stranger to that. But overall, I'm really enjoying it. And the thing I, I love the most about Far Cry is just, like, you want to check out every last nook and cranny. You want to, like, you know, do all the quests, see all the locations, check all the peppers, the, the treasure stashes and the bell towers, or bell towers were a thing in Far Cry 4. No, I know they're not really a thing anymore. And you know, recent Far Cries, you want to like clear all the outposts and you know, collect all the guns and the vehicles and cool things like that, and just and you know, do all the challenges. Like, I remember when I was playing Far Cry 5 last summer, like a lot of stuff I did, I just didn't even bother recording because I just wanted to just be immersed in the world without having to worry about you know, making my sound be good and all that jazz. But uh, yeah, this episode. Uh, it's this should be the last of the non-live commentary episodes. I kind of screwed up like when I recorded this in the last few episodes, where uh, I don't know. I think I just I, either my audio just spunked out, wasn't working, or I forgot to hit the 
the live commentary button <laughs> when I made these uh, last few episodes. So either way, my big my biggest apologies. This episode's like it's a big turning point in this series. And oops, I just actually knocked Carmen off the bike. Carmen, oh, sweetie, are you okay? Oh nope, she's dead. Whoopsies. So yeah, I gotta go to the roster and. If you guys are wondering what part I'm in the story, because I know how... I, I'm pretty sure you guys know how this game ends. Well, I don't, because I, I want to be, you know... I want to be exposed. Just let's do it, you know, just let me do it on my by myself. But, yeah, like... I don't know. I've, I've recruited Herc and uh, Gina, whatever the heavy gunner's name is, and I met Sharky and all those people. I still haven't met New Eden, so... I'm recording this on March 29th. So I'm going to like probably play some more tonight and record some more episodes for you guys. I'll record some more episodes after this. And fingers crossed the commentary actually works this time. If it doesn't, I'm going to be so upset. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys have no idea. But if you guys are wondering how I've been, it's just, it's been a pretty crazy week. A lot of things happening with classes and whatnot. And I just... I, I want to play games and enjoy myself, but, like, at the same time, I'm a student. My studies come first. And, like, we have basically eight weeks of classes left. I mean, geez, my sophomore year is almost over. It's, like, April is on Monday. Then uh, we have a full month of that. And then uh, May comes around. I have, like, two weeks of classes. And then it's finals week, and, yeah, my sophomore year is basically over. Geez, it's crazy. Like, college is going by so fast. But high school seems like forever ago to me if you ask me it's like a lot has changed this channel has changed so much like just looking back on my old videos like 2014 2015 it's like geez i was just a kid back then and look where i'm at now and my far cry primal let's play is three years old geez <sighs> but also if you guys are wondering i've been slack on movie reviews lately i'm gonna try to see dumbo either tonight or tomorrow night i'm honestly so done with the live action disney remakes i'm just going to this one just to see how bad it is in all honesty so yeah i'll probably see it tonight or tomorrow or probably just like stay and play far cry tonight and I'll tomorrow just like wake up early go for a run do some homework and then see it and review it for you guys we'll see what happens between now and the last time i reviewed a movie i think the last movie i reviewed was captain marvel I have seen uh, Wonder Park, uh, Fighting With My Family, and Us. Wonder Park is like, you know, I don't hate it as much as everyone else does, honestly. It's this like anime movie from Nickelodeon Studios. It's just, ugh, it's forgettable, it's boring, it's, the pacing is way too fast. Like, you know, I guess I've decided, you know, it's not really worth reviewing because I saw it over winter break. Like, you guys, if you guys saw my Chichen Itza video, my beach vlog video, you probably know I was in Mexico for a few days. My spring break went like, we got off classes Friday, which was, you know, the fifth, the 15th of March. You know, right after band class, uh, Mark helped me move all my stuff to his place. And I was there Friday night, Saturday. Saturday, Mark was at work, so I was just out and about in downtown Fort Collins. You know, I saw Wonder Park then after popping by at the bank and, you know, Whole Foods and whatnot. Saw it then. Went back to the house. Played some Skyrim. You know, Mark has Skyrim. I, I, you know, I still play Skyrim, if you guys are wondering. I just don't make videos for it anymore because... I think I've made almost 900 videos on this channel, and like an eighth of them are Skyrim videos, so trust me, we do not need more Skyrim on this channel. Like, I ended that series off on a high note, and I'm very happy with how that ended. And, uh, and yeah, Sunday, my uncle picked me up. Sunday the 17th, St. Patrick's Day. My uncle picked me up, and I was in Denver that night, and the night after that. Monday, I woke up super early, went to Aurora, and got my passport renewed. Oh my goodness, it was a nightmare getting my passport. Like, it was, it was my third attempt at getting one, and I guess they knew that it was my third attempt at getting a password, because they didn't even charge me for it. Like, if you're in Colorado, Aurora is the place to go for uh, getting a, uh, a passport, because they make a passport for you within, like, a few hours. Not like other places, they make it, like, within two or three weeks. I was like, dude, I gotta go to Mexico this break. So, yeah, I went there, and I got it. And, yeah, Tuesday, was in, we, Mark and I flew out to Mexico, and we were there for, like, a few days, and early Saturday, we, went, we woke up and uh, took the plane back home. And that Saturday, I saw Us, the new... Well, we saw Us, Mark and I saw it together. It was a new Jordan Peele movie, which, you know, it's not as good as Get Out. If you ask me, like, Get Out was, you know, oh my gosh, that's, like, easily one of the best films this decade. Well, I mean, it's... I could definitely see it being, like, in the top 20 or top 30 for me. Because I've seen a lot of great movies this decade. Oh my gosh, this, de this decade's almost over. I don't believe it. But yeah, Get Out was such a masterpiece. And Up, Us... 
even though it's not as good, it's still a very worthy entry in Jordan Peele's career. It's so crazy. Like, he used to do comedy skits with Key and Peele, and now he's doing, like, modern-day horror classics. So, yeah, Us is great with Lupita Nyong'o and, like, all the actors in this movie. Like, it's so spooky and eerie. Like, I honestly had a hard time sleeping, though, and I just think about some scenes that happened. And it, it still managed to make me laugh. I will admit, I will not deny that for a second. And uh, before I left for Mexico, that Monday after I got my passport, I was like, you know what? I got a passport. My trip is basically all set. So, you know, my uncle is at work. So I was like, I got the rest of the day to myself. My uncle lives there next to a movie theater. So I went and I finally saw Fighting With My Family, which now came back, came out back in uh, February. So yeah, I was pretty late to the party, but I'm really glad I saw it, even though I was really belated. Because as of now, guys, Fighting With My Family is my pick for the best movie of 2019. It, yeah, it's another... I, and that's coming from someone who doesn't really like sports movies that much. It's a WWE movie that was, like, produced by Dwayne Johnson. It was, like, you know, showcasing a real-life story of this wrestler, uh, Zaria Page or something. I, I forget what her full name is. Like, yeah, it's an underdog story, like, you know, what we've seen countless times before. But she's a lovable underdog. It's, like, you know, the old from Britain. Like, you know, just this movie's very British. It does a great job showing, you know, British society. It's, like, hey, they're coming to America to wrestle. It's, like, it's very inspiring the things that happen and like it managed to make me feel a little teary-eyed and also having me laugh my ass off like i oh it's it's just if you haven't seen fighting my family you guys really should i definitely i did I, again it's my pick as of now it's my pick for this movie oops sorry just knocked around mic really quickly my apologies guys uh just a little technical difficulties on my end so yeah had to start a new recording so just picking off where we left off and I mean, Fighting With My Family is, like, you know, it's, it's like, I don't know, it, it kind of makes me want to watch more, uh, ho- like, I was about to say horror movies. It makes me want to watch more what's, uh, sports dramas or, like, sports comedies because I feel like I'm just not a huge sports guy in all honesty. Like, I played Little League when I was a kid, like, in elementary school, and my parents are huge Mets fans. Like, you know, we're from New Jersey, so, like, we grew up right next to New York. So, like, I've been to a Mets game. It was awesome. Like, I was 15 at the time. And they, like, wrecked the Phillies love in the two. It was an awesome game. So, yeah, I like baseball. It's fun to play. It's fun to watch. Ugh. Excuse me. It's just not a game that I can take seriously again. And, you know, wrestling is cool to watch. So is hockey and basketball. It's, it, those are, in, I can enjoy watching those games, but, like, it's not something I can take seriously. Like, March Madness, it's like, I don't give two shits about March Madness. It's just, like, it's boring. Like, you know. The whole NBA, it's like, oh, drafts are starting. March Madness, March Madness, oh, drafts, 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 oh, what's this guy doing? It's like, uh, I, I just, it bores the heck out of me. It's like, can we just go to the movies now or play some video games or, you know, read some comics? It's like, I feel like I have such a wide range of interests and, like, sports is, like, that one thing that I'm just not really into, I guess. And, uh, especially football, it's like, after the Rocky Mountain Showdown, you guys probably know I went to that back in uh, the end of, like, the very last day of August. My friend Casey and I drove down to Denver for uh, CSU Rams versus the CU Buffs. Yeah, after that, I was like, I am never going to a football game sober again. Football is very uninteresting to watch, if you ask me. I watch it. It's just like, oh, guy's got a ball. He's running across the, he's running across the field. Oh, he got tackled. Reset. Guy's got a ball. He's running across the field. Oh, went out of bounds. Reset. The guy's got the ball. He's running across the field. Oh, he tripped. Reset. The guy's got the ball. He throws it to his teammate. Oh, the pass is incomplete. Reset. The guy's got the ball. He's running. 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 Touchdown! Reset. It's way too, like, go, stop, go, stop, go, stop, go, stop for me. And it's, like, really uninteresting because of that. It's, like, you know, each quarter is like what 15 minutes well in football language it's like an hour like uh it's too long it's too like you know pause it's uh, don't even get me started all the commercials Ugh. yeah i just sports just aren't my thing guys frank if i'm gonna be really frank with you i'd just rather like you know that's why that's probably why i wasn't really that popular in high school is because like oh i ran track and cross country it's like the two like dweeb sports i guess as people call them but like who cares that was in the past and it's not that difficult making friends outside of sports communities. Like, I'm sure I'm not the only guy who's, like, not... who Like, just because you have a Y chromosome doesn't mean, like, you have to like sports. Like, it's okay if a man doesn't like sports. It's also okay if a dude doesn't like, you know, going to the gym or sleeping around or... Ugh, toxic masculinity. That's a rant for another day. <laughs> and, yeah, we're coming near-ish the end of, you know, this mission. 
I'm a little, I'm still kind of bummed out that like my live commentary wasn't working this episode because I said some. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with how this episode went, and hopefully, the next few episodes were, uh, you know, the ones I recorded after this are like, you know, my commentary actually worked. Or I actually remembered to hit the button this time. And I had a little Kobe moment for you there. Throw a Molotov cocktail. And it's like, Far Cry, I'm really curious to see where the franchise is heading next. Assuming that they're going to do Far Cry 6. I mean, like, where could the setting be? I mean, because I'm assuming it's going to take place, like, two years after the events of Far Cry 5. So it's like, has a whole world, like, you know, fall into apocalypse? Or is it just the United States? Is it just Montana? It's a really interesting thing to wonder, like, could it take place, like, in Colombia with cartels? Or are they actually going to listen to the fans and do that Jurassic Park frog cry that we've always wanted? I, I, I'd be so down for that. Oh my gosh, just imagine riding dinosaurs and, like, eating up, like, terrorists and whatnot. That would be so great. Uh, oh, I try kicking a dog. Die, Poochie, die. There we go. Or, like, maybe a second primal game. That'd be cool. Like, imagine Far Cry Primal 2 taking place in, like, Southern California. Like, and with the little bread tar pits and giant ground slots and terror birds and all the Ice Age creatures we come to know and love. Uh, that would be so sick. But, uh, we're basically coming to the end, and I got band practice in, like, an hour, so I'm gonna export this, and, yeah, hit the road. If you guys know what I'm saying. But yeah, this, this series, I'm going to try to finish it by June. Like, end of May, beginning of June at the latest. So yeah, I don't want the series to go on for too long. Because my Far Cry 5 Let's Play went on absurdly long. Like, my Far Cry 5 Let's Play is longer than my Far Cry 4 and Primal Let's Play combined. So I kind of hope that doesn't happen. And I'm a little dis I'm, I'm kind of peeing myself for not doing the DLCs. But, you know, for the sake of cash, yeah, I decided not to. Again, I got better things to spend that money and time on than video games nowadays. So, yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and, you know, me kicking some butt. And, yeah, this is a huge turning point in Far Cry stories. So, like, here's the, another cutscene. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Anybody? Mom! 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 Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me, look at me, hey, hey. Are you okay? Are you, are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Are you okay? I'm fine. Well, just do what you can. How bad is it? We're in big trouble. We lost a lot of people. The wounded are in bad shape. If twins come back, we can't stop them. There's nobody left. What about that group in the north, in the Wheaton? Is that a joke? I've seen them in action. They hit the camp I was being held at one night. Just two of them took more bullets than is humanly possible and vanished into the forest. The high women call them ghosts. But I know what I saw. Those people were doped to the fucking gills. We need what they have. You realize we're talking about going to Joseph Seed, a man who terrorized and brutalized our family for years. But that was before. He's left us in peace, Mom. Whatever happened in the past is the past. Stay out of this. We need help. If we don't get it, we're all dead. A deal with New Eden is a deal with the devil. It's the only one on the table. Whatever they have, whatever their secrets, we need it. The backs are against the wall. Find out what this Joseph has. I'll patch things up here. shows up here again, you come straight to your mom and me. Do you understand? I'm hungry. He said we have to find food wherever we can. Yeah, but we don't take anything from him, not even food. Why? Because we knew that man before you were born. He did some very bad things. He, he hurt your dad and tried to hurt our family. Hey, you see him again. You run away as fast as you can. You hear? Go, go on inside, honey. She's got to learn. 
We do not accept help from the pagans. 